Hello everyone. So this video we're gonna go up against Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser is actually a matchup which I get a lot of questions about. A lot of people mistakenly think it's a really bad matchup for Shen, just because of how hard Mordekaiser outscales and how hard it is to deal with him late game. But you just have to abuse him enough uh, early game, the first few levels, to the point where he doesn't really get to play the game. So that's what I'm gonna try to show this game. Wait, are they invading? There's a Senna here. I guess they are. Like that was a half assed invade if I ever, ever seen one. I'm gonna sit here. Okay, so first off in lane, when the lane starts level 1, I'm gonna try to get um, the slow push on him and then go all in level 2 or level 3, depending on how he plays and how he uses his abilities. I'm gonna try to bait out uh, some of Mordekaiser's Qs and um, whenever he uses one and misses, I'm gonna try to go in. We'll see how it goes. It depends a lot upon, on how he plays, his obviously, but I should be winning it. Wait. I'm gonna give him a decent leash, not the perfect one, but I wanna get to lane. It's possible Mordekaiser is waiting for me here. No, okay, good. His passive can be annoying to deal with it if I face check into him, level 1. So now I'm trying to get the push here over him. Not hitting them too much, just a little bit. And one auto attack, nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit level 2 after this minion here. Yeah, he walked in range, that was a mistake by him. Okay, really good trade there. That's what you want. After the first trade, his counterplay diminishes very, very much. So now he won't really be able to counter trade in a long trade once I taunt in. He just wants to let me push into his tower right now, but I'm gonna try to make him miss some CS if he stays back like this at least. I'm not gonna let him farm. Okay, so it's probably gonna push in here actually. Uh, so it's a little bit harder than I wanted to, but now that I'm under tower, I'm still gonna gonna try to trade with him. This is the tower toward trade where you attack him once, taunt out through. Uh, through him and then attack, attack him once more and it's a really good trade and also distracts him from farming obviously Okay, so he's missed seven more minions than I have right now and Yes Oh Okay I uh, disrespected Rek'Sai. I, I completely forgot which enemy jungler was in their team. Like, I usually have a, I have a ward here so that makes me safe against like pretty much all junglers wh where I did there. But against Rek'Sai she can obviously just jump over the wall. And if I flashed she was gonna follow me. So that's really bad for me obviously. But, yeah, it's what happens when you disrespect Rek'Sai like I did. Yeah, she... Ash is dead here. So I missed a lot of CS here. Because I obviously didn't have TP since I'm running Ignite. But if I if I just had that start and then respected Rek'Sai here, it's super good for me. But I just greeted. I still have like two levels uh, to punish the Mordekaiser and maybe bring it back. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Mordekaiser didn't flash, so he still has uh, both his sums, I think. Okay, am I? No, okay, I was getting scared of Rek'Sai there, because he was a bit too aggressive, I felt. Okay, so now, now I'll have to be a little bit careful, but 
I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. I think I can trade one for one. Okay. I should be fine here. Oh, whatever. Did I just int? No, okay. Yeah. Luckily, Lise is here, or I would have to lose a lot of stuff here. No. Please kill him. Okay. Well played. When she picks up the farm, so it's fine. So now, in wait, huh? Wave was completely fine, by the way. It was, it was gonna push away from me, but very, very slowly. So that, that kind of sucks that she made me lose that, lose that full wave, and uh, made him able to freeze right there. Mm, whatever. I'll just hope he doesn't hit six right now and uh, take a trade with him. It's the only thing I can do right there. Yeah, okay. Because it's very close to hitting 6 probably without with how much XP I've missed this lane. And I'm still level 6 as well. Hmm. Yeah, it's level 6 here. So lane is still playable, but obviously I I want to be winning the lane uh, super hard by the point he hits level 6, so it's not as good as it usually should be if I just respect the Rex side there, level, uh, level 4 or 3. I don't know if I'm fine here. No! That really sucks. Please bring me to lane. Please bring me to lane. Wait, should I have stayed in base and kept home guards? Maybe I should. a lot of my CS. Should I just eat him uh, if she wasn't in range, like with in spider form? I lost quite a lot of CS extra because we had to chase, chase him like this. But at least we got him, you know. Could have been even worse. So now I'm obviously like behind. I'm not super behind his O2 as well, but I'm not ahead, which means I won't be able to trade with him uh, unless Elise is there. So I'll have to play the weak side right now. Hope Elise can get something with uh, with her lead right now. She's ahead of Rek'Sai, even though uh, Rek'Sai is ahead of the game as well. Yeah. Nice. So he shouldn't. He shouldn't. Uh, have R again right now, so I, I can't go in for a trade. If he has R, I can't go in for it because he has Briss's R, and uh, I'm dead at this point in the game. Yeah. He should have R like pretty soon though. No, not right now, I think, but uh, pretty soon. Yeah, now the wave is bad. Wave is really bad. Fuck. I'll go and check for a plant right here. Let's hope there is one. Otherwise, I'll go for a ward at least at uh, Drift. Okay, there's no plant, sadly. Okay, maybe I can counter gank this. Wow, Ash just did that. Yep, they can take that. 
I'll just... Uh, hmm, should I? I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna drag it out here for her first. Okay, I thought Mordecai would be smart and go to Herald right here. He could have stopped it for sure. With me having a wave here that I have to pick up. And I can't really go close to Mordecai anyway because he has Princess R, so I couldn't have helped. Oh, okay, he he just stood in the bush. Like, what the fuck? Why wouldn't he go to Herald then? <laughs> he didn't back. Yeah, I can't ever walk up there, and she don't. W and she doesn't win a one v one, so just hold wave. Thanks. I can R box. Yep. What? I, I was sure I would arrive. Mm. Oh, they both, yeah. Kalista had flash and Bart had R. Hmm. Some obviously is gonna be weak side using my R's to help out my team and uh, not die to this Mordekaiser 1v1. Game becomes very very different if I if I do, don't res disrespect the, the Rex early game because I had the one trades that you want to have against Mordekaiser and then you just need to to push out the lead to a solo kill and just yeah play properly around the jungler and you're fine. But I did not this game so now I'm weak side player. But playing a good weak side is just as important. Like realize when you are not ahead and when you when you have what you have to do to to not let Mordekaiser snowball. You know, uh, can they get away now? Okay. If if they're fine, then it's a one for one. It's fine. Ah, oh. that was. Well, at least. Mordekaiser wanted a TP the next time I ha Wait, did he survive? No way. He got flash ulted and someone else arrived. Oh, nice. So that's even better. Okay, so now I'm gonna back and get my Titanic. I have perfect gold for it. And then I have R in 20. Wait for it, please. So it's so important to communicate to your team when your R is like soon to be off cooldown because that's often when people force a play and die. <coughs> As I said. Well, it's not like it's a disaster. They're probably gonna get muck as well. It's all good. That's a close one. Don't know if Ash had R or not. She could maybe go for a Yola R if she had it. Yeah, that's shield. It's pretty large. I won't be able to ever take extended trades versus him uh, when I ask Leandris, obviously. But I can still take short trades. Right now. Yeah, I, I completely outplay them. 
I made sure he was in tower range, then I went for everything at once and he can't really react. So that's super good. Uh, especially since I dragged the pressure of Rek'Sai, like that gives my team so much freedom and I got a kill. It's the best situation basically. I'm gonna recall here but I'm ready to R if it's needed, but it's not gonna be probably. Alright. Very nice. So now I'm just gonna go this, and this, and then probably path, yeah, I'm gonna path top again since Drake is the next objective. They can probably take it right now. I can just take it. Yeah, at least I can start it, I guess. So it should have been mid to push a wave instead of being here, but it doesn't matter too much. Good that it's pushing to me here, because if it was pushing away, you could possibly freeze it for a little while. And I'll miss some CS if I want to play safe around Rek'Sai. He still hasn't cleared this pink word, by the way. It's been here forever. Yeah, forever, actually. I'm just trying to dodge everything right now. Yeah, okay, I did not expect that one. Did she go through here, I guess? So more guys are dice here. Oh! Look at that champion. It, like she obviously had to play it well for it to work, but <laughs> that, that's a special kind of uh, play right there that no other champion can be close to making. The double flash, are you kidding me? Alright. Let's take this tower right here. I can probably start hitting it at least while my team takes Herald. I can maybe take it. I don't think anyone's gonna be here for a while at least. So I'm gonna take this, take one more wave back, get my cowl, and then wait for R and group until I got my R. That's my plan right now. When you don't have R in mid slash late game, I would say 18 minutes is mid game at this point. Then um, you want to be grouping with your team as much as you can whenever you don't have R. Even if you run TP, I still like grouping quite a lot with my team as Shen. Shen is not really the champion you want to TP flank on or something like this. You just want to be there for the starts of the fight. Even if you have R, it's sometimes the right move to group uh, and just use your R later in the fight so you can be there. Uh, to start off But I need to clear this one wave obviously and then I want to group I'm just gonna run here. I don't want to risk my team throwing like in pro play I would I would push push right here, but I'm just gonna run here because I know uh, that it's very likely a fight is gonna Be coming up so it's better to just move down because my, my R is still 20 seconds away. I'm just gonna flank here. I think that's the right move, yeah. yeah okay, I'm just buying time here. My team can uh, can deal with the Mordekaiser. Bar died, wow. Nice. Yeah, didn't have to R here. Almost. Nope, close though. If so, it aimed a little better, would have worked. It's still a good fight overall though. So most champ players would just take another wave here and just ping their R soon up, but I know that like pinging sometimes doesn't help, so if my R is like more than 10 seconds from being up, uh, then I'd, I'd just draw their run to the fight and be there most of the time. 
Because at this point in the game, a, lo a little bit more gold on me in the side lane won't really matter too much anyway. So it's better to just play for the team. Okay, I got R now. I'm gonna take a couple of waves probably. I'm uh, gonna push it up to, to around here if I don't have to R before then. It's very likely I have to R before then, by the way. My team is winning without me at this point. <laughs> yeah, I can just push on here. Watch my team for ours, but it's maybe not even needed. So we're basically 5 mid when, uh, when I'm doing this. Uh, but also having a guy bot, they can't ever engage because I have Shannar. And uh, they, if they say, send someone bot, it gives my team freedom as well. So it's a very, very classic, classic move. At least they're fine. Mm, that feels bad. Even if I flash there, I'm still dead. So, just gonna save my flash. Uh, should I maybe let you die? That kind of uh, costs a lot. I think Mordecai's are TP flank behind us here. Even if they get this, we're still like way, way ahead, but. This is one of the only only ways a throw could start, where we overextend after we've gotten something and all die and then Baron. Yeah, sad. So now we just have to not start chaining thing from this one uh, one throw. Uh, to me. I couldn't couldn't get any range in time. Once Rek'Sai gets down into the R there, she's dead. Hmm. focus or we're gonna throw this if we don't okay she has a redemption okay, I have R soon I'm gonna put the word here and push up a wave So we could wait 3 minutes for Drake I guess, but uh, it feels bad to let them scale for 3 whole minutes as well. We should get, get some pick in uh, both side of the jungle. We have to be careful Mordekaiser, if you are someone important, could lose us the fight. Uh, I tried to get Rixai as well. Wait, who did you are? Oh, sewing. Oh, <laughs> okay then. She's full HP. Great. So, I don't think we can. Yeah, I can't keep the. Keep the minions alive, sadly. Maybe the ne next wave we can get something. Mm. 
No. Okay. That was close. Okay, she has skill sets, so probably not that close actually. Oh, that was fancy. She she dragged a Maoka with her. Lol. <laughs> not intended, but yeah, that's not what Maoka I wanted to do. Doesn't go far either. Oh, GG. Alright, so my biggest mistake for sure was disrespecting the Rek'Sai gank pathing here early on. Uh, you probably probably saw how how you're supposed to uh, to play the the early laning phase out with getting the slow push versus Mordekaiser, trading a lot and trying to snowball it. But if you somehow manage to die to a gank or to a failed one v one or whatever, uh, then this game is a uh, like um, a good example of how to play uh, play weak side, I would say. Um, so if you're weak side, you just wanna make sure you're respecting this R. You don't wanna taunt in aggressively unless it's cooldown. You wanna look for a good R's to uh, to impact your team, even if you lose a, a couple of plates or CS. If you're behind already top, it's fine. You don't wanna do the same if you're ahead. If you're ahead, you don't wanna. Uh, are a way to bot lane for example if you're gonna lose a lot uh, until you already have the perfect wave positioning and uh, you have made sure you're not gonna lose too much of your lead but as weak side is it's a different thing all right so thank you guys so much for watching uh, have a great day